Hey there, what's up? This is Santi with a mustache and today we're gonna be reviewing or actually rather showing you the my first impressions on this really cool app Mark Mind and I want to show you a couple of things. So first if we just open the main website here you can see a bit of a demo that shows you what is going on. All right, so as you can see here you create a new type of file. It shows you this way where you can actually create the mind map inside of Obsidian and it just looks incredible. Like I, I literally just saw this and I, my mind was blown away because I've never seen something like this done in Obsidian where you have such control of the plugin without really having to modify the text file, the markdown file. And it just looks like one of the coolest ways to create mind maps. It really caught my attention, right? So yeah, definitely want to explore, definitely want to try it out. There's a couple of more advanced features as well. Like it's not just this mind mapping, but there's another crazy thing. You can also link to other files. And this one in this case links to a PDF. And look what is possible. It's just ridiculous. Like this demo is the one that blew my mind and made me want to make this video. Like as you can see, it's highlighting like a box of text, almost like a screenshot. And what you can do is you can copy that. And that screenshot, I don't know, well, it's a screenshot, but it's also a link to the PDF. So if you open that, it opens to that part of the PDF. And this looks like one of the most advanced ways to deal with PDFs that I've seen before. So when I first saw this demo, I mean, I was blown away and I was like, how can this even be free? Like, this is so good. It's like a full app inside of Obsidian, right? And that's when I discovered that this is not 100% free. It's kind of like a premium thing, but I was really excited to start seeing like more plugins like this that actually offer a premium service, something that's really advanced and also having a way to actually compensate the creators for it. So I think this is great. And you'll be able to see like, thankfully, it seems to be very affordable from what I could tell. If we just go to the community plugins in the settings and we browse for it, we can see Obsidian Mark Mind right there, right? And here you can read even in the description. It says mind map outline and PDF annotate tool for Obsidian. Closed source, meaning that is not 100% free. And here you have a bit of a simple table that breaks down what is free and what isn't. The catalyst seems to be the way that they call the paid version. This one, what's awesome is that it costs only $12 forever. And I think that's incredible. Like I honestly haven't come across great apps that cost this little. So I think it's still a steal, you know, like it will, I'm gonna test the free version. If we have time within this video, I might try it out the paid version, but yeah, you know, it just looks incredible. Seems like some of the basic things is most of what we saw in the, in the demo. Seems like we could be able to do that with the rich mode. That they showed in the demo. This one also seems to support mobile and PC, which is awesome. One of the things that I think are incredible, but are not in the free version is a PDF annotation tool. That looks one of the best parts of this plugin. So I think only because of that, it would definitely be worth it to pay. There seems to also be a bit of support from the developer, if you have any questions and stuff like that, and even some advanced feature in the reach mode. So with that said, let's see how far we go. Again, I haven't tried this yet, but we're gonna install it right now and we're gonna enable it straight away. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new note and just call it test one for mark mine. Right there we have it. So, you know, I, I don't know, I have no idea what I'm doing. So let's just check out the website a bit. Yeah, there is some docs in here. All right, so in here, I see that it says you can right click on a folder to create a new mind map. So that is that is quite handy. So let's actually see if that works. So uh, let's just create mark mind as a folder. I'm going to put this test one in there. A right click. Perfect. New mind, but new mind mark can talk <laughs> new mind map board. It said, right? But it says mind map. Yeah, that threw me off, but never mind. Right. So here we can see that is in basic mode. Um, okay, let's try to explore basic mode a little. So it seems like the two ways is to create a folder and do what I just did, or we can create the new markdown file and then add this text in here. So if we take a look at that file, created a new file called untitled, and if we take a look at a markdown, yes, that's what it's doing. So it's just kind of doing it automatically for us. Kind of weird to me that if I have an empty file in here, I can't convert it into that. That would be nice, but it seems like right now the, the way to do that is just by copy pasting this text right there. But either way, we have this. So now let's move forward. Let's see what else we find. Okay, so it says in this basic mode, you can use a basic mind map and outline functions. All right, so it seems like here we have just a bit of an example. It's just telling us it's in basic mode and this is how things will look like. I'm just gonna paste that. The format is really off though. If you, if you take a look at that, it seems like there's a huge problem because of all these indentations. So, you know, I, I just really wish all of that wasn't there. <laughs> because yeah, I just can't see it. I would like to see that example file, you know? So I'm just gonna spend a little while just fixing that. All right, there you go. I just solved it all using Beam shortcuts, which was probably one of the fastest ways I could think of, but 
still not fast enough. Honestly, that's just a bit of feedback on like this documentation because I like seeing example files and that was just a bit frustrating, but again, nothing wrong on the, on the app, but rather on just a bit of the documentation. Uh, now let's take a look. Let's see what this looks like as a mind map. Here it is. Yeah, it was struggling to find that. Here it is, open as mind map. And there we go. Let me just move my face out of the way. It's a bit jittery. I have no idea why. Ah, okay, yeah, just by clicking. I was using middle click, but it's just better to just click around. Okay, that was my bad. It's definitely working. I just wish the middle click was working a bit better just because I'm used to it. And yeah, wow, look at that. You can collapse things very nicely. I love that. That's so cool. It's very similar to another plugin called Mind Map. Yeah, this one right here. And it works like this. But the difference with this one is that you need to write everything in the markdown file and then it displays things like here which this one seems to be even better because it not only displays things very nicely, but you can also create things from here. So I can write in here and well, I wish enter confirm that that's kind of, I don't know. Let, let's see, uh, test. Do I need to press control enter? Seems like enter just creates another line. Shift enter maybe? No. Escape? Seems like you need to click in order to, to confirm, which I don't know if I'm missing something. That's a bit annoying for me because I just like using shortcuts, not have to reach all the way to my mouse and then, you know, start clicking around. But, but it's really cool that we can create absolutely everything in here. How does it work if I just want to create another branch in here? Can I even move branches around? Oh, seems like you can. Okay, I need to get used to that. Uh, what if I want to put it here? Yeah, that works. Okay, I still need to get used to it. And we can just arrange things as we wish okay that wasn't what i wanted there we go like if i want to move this one right here first i need to click once and do it that it's not the most intuitive thing but i think it's the kind of thing that if you get used to it yeah i think it gets a bit of <laughs> getting used to i think i'm pretty bad at it i mean it's still pretty cool that you can move things around everything in here because like i was saying the other one that i used was the mind mapping plugin but in that one, you really can't do anything in this interface, but rather you need to do everything in text. So I love the fact that you can do it all in here, like to create really cool mind maps and all of these branches of ideas with different formats, as you can see in here. Tons of things to, to explore and to learn, but so far so good. Starting to understand the logic of it. Let's take a quick look at the other examples. So this other one. So yeah, I'm just gonna copy this. There we go, there we have it. Once we copy this, can we open it straight into mind map? Now that's kind of weird. Do we need to reload Obsidian until it realizes? Yeah, yeah, I don't know what happened. Maybe you need to reload it. Again, this is the first time using it, so I'm still not very familiar with, with the logic of it. Here we have root and we can already start writing things in here and then we can just keep going like that. But it seems like now we have a couple more features. One, let's just take a look at what the features are. Like what, what is the stuff that we can do in here? Okay, I have no idea. I really wish that by hovering over this, it would tell me what it does. It's just gonna take a lot of experimentation. There's a callout, but that's cool. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, my guess is that this needs to connect to something else. Yes, that makes sense. Cool. Nice, yeah, I see I see the logic of this. And again, we can see the markdown to see what's going on. And yeah, tons of stuff is going on. So this is not really for you to be able to edit. If you want to edit things, seems like the best way is to actually just create things a bit more simply like this with the basic method. But if you want to basically work directly on the mind mapping thing, then it's better to actually just use the rich version and that way you have a lot more stuff, but it makes your file harder to read or almost impossible to read because it's all just basically code you know i would assume that the recommendation is not to modify these files nice looking pretty cool uh let's go back to the docs let's see what else we can find shortcuts perfect okay i'm really happy to see shortcuts i might have to explore this with a bit more time uh but right now let's just try something out if i press tab great that's great Woo, that's working yeah so much easier to do that i was really struggling oh, okay and if i press enter Okay, it's still kind of confusing, but if I press enter in here, it goes down, but I can't easily escape. Oh, look at that, look at that. So, you know how I was struggling, like not knowing how to how to do like control enter or shift enter or what? It seems like the way to confirm that you already stopped writing is by pressing tab. You see how the color changes? And now if I press enter again, that creates a new one. So that's great. So not enter, tab, and now enter, right? Tab once, tab again and I go there. Tab once, tab again, and then I go there. Tab once, press enter, then I go down. Tab, enter, tab, enter, tab, and whoop, I destroyed everything. Either way, that sells idea a lot more. It makes it way more appealing for the kind of use that I would have for this, so that's incredible. Really happy to see a lot of great shortcuts. Uh, you can expand nodes. Let's just try that out real quick. So, control slash, so over here, 
Control slash. Ooh, that's working. Look at that. I wish I didn't see this right now. Maybe there's a way to just visualize things and hide all of these features. I don't know. Maybe there is one. I would have to keep reading the documentation, but right now it's already pretty cool that if I use that shortcut, it kind of collapses everything. I just really wish it would hide these menus right now. Like if I'm just reviewing stuff rather than editing and adding more things right now but it works and that's pretty cool. Cool, let's explore a couple of more of these shortcuts. We have undo, redo, mind map to center. This looks interesting, so control E. Okay, control E just takes you back to the beginning. So that's kind of handy if you accidentally scroll and you don't know where you are, press control E, that takes you there. Cool, that makes sense. Change mind map layout. So we have U, D, L, R, M. Okay, let's try that out. Control U, ooh, look at that. <laughs> okay, it changes, oh, so that must be up, down, control left, control right. Control U, Control D, Control M. Yeah, M, I don't know what M stands for. It must be like middle. I don't know. Uh, but that's pretty cool because you can just change the layout of things. You can also undo it if you did a mistake. That's pretty nice. Again, I really need to explore a lot of this, but it seems like the shortcuts really make the whole experience so much better. Okay, I'm really curious what this one does. Outline shortcuts. So if you add this YAML into the basic mode, uh, it creates an outline. Uh, let's just take a quick look. You know, I think it's worth experimenting. Uh, let's just come back here. So this one is the reach, mind map reach, right? Let's go to the basic one that we have in here. Let's paste that in there and let's open it as mind map. This is the outline mode. What? So crazy. So it's no longer a mind map, it's, it's an outline. I'm really confused. I'm going to have to explore this. I really have no idea. Like, okay, that's very interesting. It's just converting the file into an outline. I personally use the plugin outliner for this purpose, but pretty interesting that it does this. This is quite crazy because... Obviously, a lot of us, we love outliners and this is incredible. I just really wonder if it could replace the current outliner plugin that there is in the community plugins, you know. This one I really, really enjoy and it's the one that, that I use and it works pretty great. Yeah, I'll explore this to see if there's any advantages to this one that the other one might not have. But that's pretty crazy. I did not see that one coming. And of course, if we just delete this and we open it again, it should just look as the mind map that as it was displayed before, right? Cool. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Nice, I did not see that coming. And there's a couple of shortcuts in here for that as well. All right, so the PDF annotate tool, again, this seems to be a paid feature. I would have to create an account, pay for it. So you know what? I think that is something that I might do in a part two for this video. I, th I think otherwise this video will end up being a bit too long. Uh, let me know what you thought. I think it's really cool. I mean, being able to just use a whole mind mapping application inside of Obsidian looks awesome. Being able to do it in dark mode, which a lot of, believe it or not, a lot of apps just don't have such a nice looking interface like Obsidian does and so customizable because of course in Obsidian, you can just use themes and all types of things to make things look even better. So I'm really impressed. I'm very excited to try out the PDF annotation stuff. So yeah, if you want a part two, let's do that. Let's make another video about that. I am very impressed because when I saw that this was a paid plugin, I didn't think the free version would do much. I already think it's a bit of a better alternative to the already existing plugin on mind mapping. That one's great for visualizing outlines that you already have in Obsidian, but this one for creating mind maps inside of Obsidian very visually, I think it's awesome, right? Congratulations to the creator of this for making such an awesome app and i hope you enjoyed this let me know your thoughts in the comment and i'll see you in part two if that's what you want so let me know and see you later bye stop for a minute before you keep watching these awesome videos that i have here for you definitely check out my obsidian course if you haven't already it's gonna be incredible especially if you're an obsidian beginner and it's also one of the best ways to support this youtube channel to help me make more videos so definitely check that out and i hope you enjoyed this video that's it click somewhere